Next, we're gonna hop in a time machine. So we're gonna click the link above. And now there's lots of different options for us to explore. They have time periods, they have geography, they have big ideas. Ooh, a big red button. Let's see what that does. So let's take a look through. They have it broken down by the time period starting from 8,000 BC up till the current present modern times. They have it broken down by geographical location. And then they have big ideas like inventions, creatures, ooh, mythology, battles, sports and games, secrets, cities and country, magic and mystery, fashion, faces and places. So let's take a look. I want to see magic and mystery. On the left hand side of your screen, you're going to see some results that pop up. Now we get to push the big red button. Start your journey. Once the page loads, you're going to see your big idea that you selected. For us, it's magic and mystery. On the right hand side, it's going to show you the number of artworks that match that topic. So if we scroll down, we can take a look at all of the different types of artwork that match these specific criteria. Unicorn in captivity from the unicorn tapestries. Let's look at that. So on the left hand side, this should look familiar. This is the map that we interacted with earlier. And then on the right hand side is the image of the actual piece of art. Fun fact, some people in the Middle Ages believe that unicorns were real animals. So again, here is the tombstone. Again, this is typically on a small card or plaque that's usually right next to the artwork. And this goes into detail explaining the following, usually what it's made of. This was made in and around 1495 to 1505, where it was made was Europe, specifically in Paris, medieval art and the cloisters. Yeah, but what's really neat 
is that the fruit doesn't, it looks very similar, you can see the fruit, mm -hmm. but they have it actually like in the top of the plant and it doesn't look like this. In the real world I got to see it, in the picture now I got to see it. It's very interesting, we have the same thing outside and inside. This is Ella signing off from the Koi Sisters. How cool is that? So the Cloisters is actually a separate museum that is also still in New York, but it's a little further away from the Metropolitan Museum of Art that's in Manhattan. So let's take a look. We have the Discover. A unicorn is chained to a tree in a gold fenced pen with a flowery meadow humming with insects. This kind of flat flowered planted design is called milfleury which means a thousand flowers in French. Bonus, can you spot the tiny frog nested in the violets on the lower right? There he is over here. This tapestry, look, when you click on the word that's yellow, it gives you the definition. Tapestry, a heavy woven cloth that has designs or pictures woven into it and is used especially as a wall hanging. So they use their tapestry as art. This tapestry is meant to be looked at, but the scene appeals to the other senses too. Imagine the smell of the flowers and buzzing noises you might hear, the taste of the fruit, and how the flowers, grass, and unicorn sperm might feel to the touch. Do you think unicorns are real? Create. I want you to imagine that you are a medieval zookeeper. Design an enclosure for the queen's newest pet unicorn. An enclosure is kind of like what the unicorn is in over here. It's kind of like its pen where it hangs out. It's a little house. How big will it be? What kind of features? Water, trees, fence? What does it need? How will you care for the unicorn every day?